Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to go ahead and do a quick recipe that's very delicious. We're going to do a jerk Cornish hen. This bird right here weighs approximately 1.68 pounds. I went ahead and washed and I patted it dry. I used my lime, my lime water and washed it and rinsed it off again with some fresh water and then I patted it dry with some paper towels. Over here I have some chopped bell peppers, some onions and some scallion. Now on the back you'll see my seasonings that I'm going to be using. There's my Grace Hot Rub right there and the Mild as well. And my dry seasonings I have the Jerk Seasoning Powder, the Black Pepper Onion Powder, Garlic Powder, Ground Paprika, some poultry seasoning, and some browning sauce. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you how I prep this bird and cook it in about 30 minutes after letting it sit. So let's get to it. Okay guys, so if you've seen my previous videos, you'll know that I'm not the best with measurements. So I'm going to try my very best today to do some measuring for you. The first thing I'm going to do though is pierce this bird with this fork. I'm going to make little holes in it, so underneath the skin. So gently lift. Make sure your hands are clean, by the way. I'm going to lift the skin. This way, the seasoning gets absorbed much quicker and it gives the bird a lot more flavor that way. So just like that. And get as far in as you can. If I had an injector, then I wouldn't have to be doing this step, but at this point, I don't. So you just gotta get creative. And do the same in this thigh area. You gotta lift the skin, just do so gently. For the leg, I'm just gonna go ahead and just puncture it with the skin. All right. So you know that the cavity of a Cornish hen is much smaller than the regular sized bird. So that is the reason why I don't have that much chopped seasonings right here. What I'm going to go ahead and do before I stuff the bird though, I'm going to go ahead and get these seasonings on the bird. So I'm going to come, I'm going to combine all my dry ingredients. So the poultry, I'm going to, this is a teaspoon, just one teaspoon back. So I'm going to try for you. <laughs> I'm going to use a half a teaspoon of paprika. One teaspoon garlic powder. Well, yeah, let me try making it one teaspoon. One teaspoon onion powder. See, I'm not doing this perfect at all. <laughs> I'm so not used to doing it. <laughs> uh oh. Black pepper. I'm gonna use just a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Don't really need that lot. All right. And the. The jerk seasoning right here. I'm going to use one teaspoon of this. If you notice I don't have any individual salt or all-purpose seasoning, anything of that nature, that is because the jerk seasoning in itself has a lot of salt content in it. So I'm trying my very best to not use anything else that will make this meat too salty. So right here we have all our dry ingredients. I'm gonna go ahead and mix that. And this will be your dry rub. For the bird. All right. So 
So we're gonna go ahead and just cover this bird with this seasoning as much as possible. So let's start under the skin, gently. Let me see if I can lift right here a little bit, that's all. The skin already started ripping before I even attempted to do this. So let's get this seasoning under here as much as possible. Give it a nice flavor. This is how I do it, you guys. If you find a way that works better for you, by all means, definitely do that. But this is the method that I find works very well for me. And that is the reason why I choose to do it this way. Alright, so just to show you, underneath all that seasoning. So now I'm going to go inside the cavity. Don't be afraid to get your hands in there. Make sure your hands are clean once again. Get all that flavor in there. And don't forget underneath. So let's just rub this on here. I love how little and cute they are. Don't you think they're cute? They're so adorable. <laughs> all right. So now I have all that left over. See that? That's why I don't like measuring, you know? Because I still, I end up make, like, making too much. But it's all right. I can use it for another one. I have another bird. I'm going to just go ahead and use it on it. All right. So now... I'm gonna go ahead and combine half a teaspoon of the mild and a half a teaspoon of the hot, and then I'm just gonna rub it all over the surface of the bird. All right, so half a teaspoon of this one. suggest you use gloves if you're not strong like me with this pepper thing you know don't even use this one if you can't handle too much heat don't use that one just use the mild I just like two flavors right there oh let me add a little bit of brown sauce you don't have to do this but I choose to do so it's a little tips little tips people because <laughs> this goes a far way. So we're going to mix that up. And this is all we will need for this whole bird. Alright. And rub it on there. Don't forget the tips, the flavor there as well. I'm a wingtip lover myself, so definitely, definitely have to get some. And there we go. Just a little bit left. I'm gonna get this inside the cavity. done so what I'm going to do next is to stuff all these seasonings into the cavity of this bird and then we'll let it sit for about 25 minutes what I'm gonna do is to pop it into the oven I'm gonna use an oven bag so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I prep the oven bag to do so the size oven bag that I have today is one for turkey I could not find a regular sized bag but that's okay 
still just kind of just cut down the size a little bit but it's it works out the same way so let's go ahead and get this bird stuffed with these peppers and onions and scallions I don't have any thyme leaves though. I forgot to pick up some thyme leaves. But if you have thyme, definitely use it. Don't be afraid to get in this bird. Get it in there. It smells so good. All right, see, and we still have leftovers. That cavity is really small, but there you go. And that is our prepped Cornish hen. So I'm going to go ahead and set this to the side, let it marinate for 30 minutes. And we're going to prop it into the oven using the oven bag that I'm going to prep and show you how I prep it. Okay guys, so this right here is the oven bag that I was telling you about. It came in this packet right here. It also comes with a little leaflet in the packet that gives you some instructions, cooking instructions. This one is, like I told you, it's turkey size, so it has measurements like and times for the larger sized meats. The regular sized uh, oven bags would have instructions on how to prepare the Cornish hen, like how long and the weight and stuff like that. But this will do just fine. These can be found in the dog store, regular grocery store. I got this in the dog store. So, yeah, so this is it. I'm going to go ahead and add one teaspoon of flour to the bag. And I'm going to just shake it up so that the bag gets covered in the flour with the flour inside of it. So that that prevents the chicken from sticking in the bag. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Just go ahead and put the flour in the bag and shake it around and then empty the excess flour. And then we'll put the bird in. So one teaspoon flour. I'm just gonna shake this around. And like I said, this is what prevents the meat from sticking in the bag. And it's also going to sweat as it cooks, so this is going to give you a nice, gravy, textured liquid. Alright, so I'm done flouring the bag. I'm going to go ahead and dump the excess flour out, and then I'm going to put the bird in. gentle. Don't be real flat me. It cause your seasonings to fall out. It smells so good, you guys. So it does come with the piece in the packet for you to use to tie it off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And all the excess there that I can. I usually just twist it right here. It makes it a little bit easier for me to close this. So now what I'm going to do is to make three slits about the size of half inch each. One, two, three, and this is for ventilation for when the bird is cooking so it doesn't explode, you know, pop in the oven. 
so I don't know if you can see that very well. So the three sets right there. What I'm going to also do is to cut off some of this excess right here. There we go. And voila! So we'll just place this in the baking tin, baking sheet, baking pan, whatever you call it. So we're going to have this bird cooking in the oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about an hour and a half. I already preheated my oven. It's now at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going to go ahead and place it into the oven. And then we'll set the timer for an hour and a half and let it cook. Then I'm going to show you the finished result. So here's the bird. In your oven bag, in a baking pan, baking sheet. We're going to put this into the oven, 375 degrees Fahrenheit, for one hour and a half. Okay guys, so I just took the Cornish hen out of the oven. I had it cooking for one and a half hours, 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And now I'm about to open this bag to see the finished product. But so far it's looking really good. If you can see what I see, it looks amazing. All right, so let's go ahead and cut this bag open and see what happens. It smells so good. Nice. Yes. Yes, people, yes. Mm, mm mm Never fails. Never fails. Your jerk Cornish hen is done. Look at that. Are you seeing how juicy this bird is looking? Finished product looks perfect. So again, I cooked this bird 375 degrees Fahrenheit for an hour and a half in this oven bag. And that's my jerk Cornish hen. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to go ahead and go dig in. I'm starving. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe this video. And you can also share it to someone you know who needs, you know, some instructions on how to go ahead and cook some jerk food. Who knows? You can help somebody else out. Alright y'all, talk to you soon. Bye.